So for her tumbler with these, the Inhale Peace, Exhale Chaos, and Kind of Emotional, Kind of Emotionalist stickers, Mackenzie decided on these two vinyls. We're only going to use a tiny strip of this one. Um, we're going to use a larger section of this one. So, I'm gonna, I base painted the cup. Two spray paints. So I'm going to put my vinyl on first. I don't really have glitters that match these, so I think I'm just going to use an additive over the top because this spray paint works perfect with this and this one works well with this. So that is what we're going to do. And these are smaller than a standard decal and it's this white is going to show. There's just no way around that. Um, because they are stickers, not vinyl decals, which is part of why I want to use the additive over the top because it'll make that white sparkle up. So I can actually do this because of the way I'm going to do it as like a one and done tumbler, which is always nice. So I'm actually going to go ahead and apply the stickers first at the very top um, because Mackenzie wants it to be this type of tumbler but I want to maximize my vinyl on here so uh, Mackenzie is my 23 year old daughter for those that don't know Let's see if I can get this off of here I tried to convince her to just put the stickers on something else, but she wanted them on a cup. So I did explain to her that they were going to have the white. And she's fine with that. If I was making this as a tumbler to sale with either of these as a decal itself, um, I would not do them with a white backed sticker. This one sits, I'm not sure which one sits lower, but it'll be fine. So that actually gives me five and three quarters to play with. So I can do in reality, if I do it at five, I could do three of the one vinyl and three of the other. I think I'll do three and a quarter of one and two of the other. Perfect. I like that. They match, but they're not exact, and they're both a big, bold print. So, I'm going to measure around this cup and trim these down a bit to start. You would think I would know all these, but, right, these are just about 10. Okay. So, I find it easier sometimes just to cut the end off. And then on the other end, I'm just going to cut two inches off-ish. Check my fit. Beautiful. Get this out of the way. And I'm going to start with this one. But I'm going to do my anchor point. I 
and both of them. The little piece of tape is because I have a terrible time getting vinyl started sometimes. So just giving myself a little anchor point makes my life better. So I think I'm going to put the seam to the side instead of having like a front and back. See if it holds. Haha. -ha. Okay. So pin striping. Gonna use nail tape. Trusty rusty nail tape. I kind of think I want a silver or that black color. This black pulls like other colors, so I think that's what we're going to go with. Because it's going to pick up the blue and the other oranges and stuff. This is the three millimeter and I think I might actually want the two. I want to be very, very close to the top of this darker blue. Okay, so I feel like I put my seam more towards the sticker, but it's fine. This is not a cup that is getting sold. It does not have to be perfect. She will love it. So I'm going to use my Touch of Rose Diamond Dust, because this will play off perfectly on this. And I am going to sprinkle the tiniest bit of the Five Star Fleet in as well. Just for a little pop of color. Okay, so my epoxy is mixed. Got my turner going. I'm going to put in my Touch of Rose Diamond Dust. I don't have a spoon handy, so I'm just going to shake a little bit in. This is, remember, a super fine additive, and I definitely need to get an order in at some point here. Then I'm just going to put a tiny bit of that Five Star Fleet in. Just a little bit. See that rose sorting itself out. It shouldn't overwhelm it. It should just help mask some of that white and give the whole cup a little bit of a sparkle. So here we go. It 
it's very, very warm in here, so my epoxy is super thin. And this is going to get a clear coat or two after this, and it'll be completely done. I'm going to go ahead and torch it super duper quick because this is one of those ultra fast sets and I don't want to put a ton of heat to it. This is the CCDIY Turbo, in fact. I mixed it really, really fast, otherwise I'd have had no bubbles, most likely. So that'll be it for this one. Um, like I said, it's going to get another clear coat or two, but nothing fancy, nothing that's going to alter how it looks right now. So we can take a look at it. There's that first sticker, kind of emotional, kind of emotionless, kind of. And inhale peace, exhale chaos, and our two floral vinyls all available from Butterfly Lane Designs um, and just some simple nail tape from Amazon so that is it I hope you like this one hopefully Mackenzie will like this one I'm sure she will and that is it I will see you next time thanks so much for watching